Good afternoon. Welcome back. It is Wednesday, March 15th, 2023. We have a few birthdays to celebrate today, as well as a couple of events. Scrolling down through the events here. On this day in 1980 at Atlanta International Raceway, the Old Oval, the IROC race, Bobby Allison won that day. Only four cars finished as there was a multi-car crash early in the race that took out most everybody. Um, then Don Whittington was in a single car crash later on, or was it Bill Whittington? I can't remember. One of the Whittington brothers. But nonetheless, four cars finished the race. Only three of them were really even competitive. Uh, a couple other races on this date of, of note, 1987 at Atlanta again. Uh, <coughs> Ricky Rudd, <coughs> excuse me, won the Motorcraft Quality Parts 500 in the Motorcraft Ford. Uh, Dale Earnhardt sat on the pole, dominated the race, and had an alternator fail about midway through, two-thirds of the way through. This is a very good race to watch. I highly recommend you find it on YouTube. It's very entertaining. It's an ABC race, so... If you can stand uh, Jim Lampley and Sam Posey's commentary throughout the race and their uh, j just their, their verbiage that they use that is very non-NASCAR, um, it it's an entertaining race to watch from the standpoint there's a lot of action, a lot of attrition, a lot of passing, and so forth. So a very, very good finish as well. Also on the state, 1992, Bell Elliott won by nearly a lap over the field. Uh, Harry Gant, I think, was the only other car on the lead lap that day as Bill was in the middle of his four-race win streak starting off the 1992 season. And other than that, not really anything. Uh, last cup race on the state was at Phoenix in 2015. Won by who else? Kevin Harvick. He's got uh, probably the best record of anybody at Phoenix, and he's got one more shot to get his 10th win at the final race of the season. And I could see that happening. <clears throat> as far as birthdays today, we will start in 1962, I believe. Yeah, 1962 on this date. Former IndyCar uh, hot young shoe. Uh, he, he came on in the early 80s. Mr. Jose Lee Garza. Here you have a couple of his uh, ANS cards from the mid 80s. We'll flip these over so you guys can see some of his stats. So, and this is 1959. Huh, that's funny. Look at that. They got different different birth dates. How about that? Again, going through these cards, you find different things. So, this is his results from 1985. This is his results from 1986. He drove the Schaefer Beer Machinist Union car. <clears throat> we have a crew chief here is next. Born on this date in 1970. Mr. Andy Graves. So uh, we'll take a look at the back of it. Of course, he was Terry Labonte's crew chief for a period of time. And then our final birthday, <coughs> excuse me, still battling a little, uh, little bit of this dust inhalation, so I apologize. Born on this date in 1958, journeyman driver in the NASCAR series for a number of years, Mr. Mickey Gibbs, of course, we sent off to him a couple years ago, TTM. Here he is, a 91 Max, working on uh, one of his Days in sponsored cars. <coughs> there he is in that failed Team of Three car. Of course, that was owned by Sam McMahon, or McMahon, depending on who pronounces the name. Barry Dodson was crew chief, Lou LaRosa was engine builder, this was supposed to be a super team. That was the car they ran in the Daytona 500, and... Pro set couldn't even get the picture centered up. <clears throat> Mickey was released mid-season. Other drivers like Jimmy Hensley, Dick Trickle, Kenny Wallace, and Dorsey Schrader finished the season. <clears throat> There's a good look at Mickey Gibbs, 92 pro set right there. Short track ace. This is 1993 Max. So that's probably his uh, ARCA car that he ran some. And then after that, he just went back to short track racing, 92 Max Red, <clears throat> 91 Pro Set, 92 Black Max. So Mickey doesn't have a lot of cards out there, so I think we pretty much covered most everything that he has. Well, at any rate, that is our birthdays, that is our events, that is everything we have for you today. I appreciate you uh, <coughs> hanging in there and, and tolerating me with this little bit of a, of a cough, so... 
we'll get over this over the next few days and we won't even know that this even happened so anyway thanks again for watching i really do appreciate it come back and see us tomorrow thanks for watching